Hello everybody, welcome back. By any chance, if you're new to this channel, if you've just stumbled across this video, why not take into consideration and hit that subscribe button and help me reach the goal of 3,000 subscribers. It's been a very long process getting to 3,000 subscribers, so if you could help me out and get to that number, I'd really appreciate it. Right, okay, let's have a quick recap. So Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul was supposed to happen last year in December. However, Tommy Fury actually pulled out, which is the only reason why we saw Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley, the rematch. The reason why Tommy Fury pulled out is allegedly because he had an injury. Obviously, Jake Paul was saying that he's not injured and he's just scared, but you know, but you know, in reality, injuries happen and it was unfortunate, but you can't really blame him. So now this year, we've all been getting gassed up because we've all known ever since Eddie Hearn spilt the beans. Basically, we've known that Jake Paul and Tommy Fury are going to be having this fight this year. More specifically, we've known that these guys are going to be fighting in August. However, Jake Paul recently just released this video. Yet again, I wake up this morning to another text from my manager saying that Tommy Fury is pulling out of the fight. We agreed to all of the terms. Everything is ready to go. We're 45 days away from the fight. We agreed to his $2 million purse. I would give my left nut for $2 million. Tommy Fury messing around a $2 million payday is insane. Tommy Fury, he's not exactly a multi-millionaire. His girlfriend, Molly May, yeah, maybe she's a multi-millionaire, but not Tommy. His whole entire team was like, yeah, everything's good. We're signing the contract today, today. It kept on getting pushed. It kept on getting pushed till now. What's the excuse? Oh, I can't come and I can't do it because my dad can't be there with me during the fight. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be funny, but are you 12 years old? <laughs> I need daddy to hold my hand before he goes to the ring. What kind of excuse is that? You fought Anthony Taylor in Cleveland. Neither Tyson nor your dad were there with you in your U.S. debut. And now all of a sudden you need your team with you. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I will agree to not have my team around me during the fight week. I know it's hard for people to do this, but you kind of have to give Jake credit because he's the one that's actually fighting to have this fight. This is what real boxers do. This is what real boxers, they make fights fucking happen. You're scared. You claim you're a professional boxer, but you don't want to make the fight with me, who you've talked so much shit about, who you said you will spark, who you say I I'm nothing compared to you. Where's all that shit talk now, Tommy? You're a fucking atypical professional boxer who doesn't want to make this fight actually fucking happen. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That is a pretty damn good response, and that video is the perfect way how to make Tommy Fury look like a pussy. <laughs> like, let's be real, there is nothing Tommy Fury could say in response to that video to make himself look better. Like, he has just been absolutely destroyed. Tommy knew very well that, you know, Jake Paul has got him and there's nothing he can say. Which is why we saw on social media, Tommy put this out. The fight is on August 6th. Forget a team or any other bullshit. I don't need anybody to help me lay you flat on the canvas. Oh, and thanks for finally signing the drug testing. You only agreed to it when you realized the fight was at risk. Who needs who? See you August 6th, pal. And Jake Paul says, actually, we're scheduled to be in New York next week for the kickoff press conference, and I'm not your pal, buddy. <laughs> so that wasn't the only thing that Tommy released. He actually released a video on Instagram, which I'm going to play right now. Just to let you all know, the fight on August 6th is going ahead. The contract has been signed. After weeks and weeks of waiting for Jake Paul to sign up to the drug testing and potentially putting the fight at risk, he's finally signed up to the drug testing. We've agreed a contract that we're happy with, so the fight is going ahead, and I'll see you August 6th. Right, let's just break this down. Right. The, the first thing is, I've never understood this thing where the Furies want to keep bringing up this drug testing with Jake Paul. Like, I'm not an expert when it comes to taking performance enhancements, drugs or steroids or anything like that. But surely if Jake Paul was on something, he would be ripped. Jake Paul is not ripped. Like, his body doesn't even look that great. He hasn't got excessive amounts of acne, you know. His stamina isn't anything to, like, go crazy about. Like, we saw with the Tyron Woodley fight, like, the, the dude does get gassed. Like, there's nothing about his performance that I've ever seen personally where I've thought, hmm, this guy looks like he's on drugs. Like, there's something not right. Like, he's way too physically fit for this. It's not possible. You know what I mean? Like, 
it, I don't get it. Why do they keep bringing this up? Jake Paul doesn't exactly look like the best athlete in the world. Personally, the way I see it is I think it's a seed that the Furies are planting because they're kind of somewhat doubtful that Tommy will even win this fight. And I wouldn't be surprised if Big John has turned to him and just told him basically to just talk crap about these performance enhancement pills because John knows deep down that if Tommy Fury does lose this fight, you know, there's something to always come back on. Tommy can then say, well, you know, you've been taking performance enhancements drugs. Uh, this is why, you know, you've been refusing to take the drug testing and all this crap. Like, there's something for Tommy to fall back on because, well, let's be real. If Tommy Fury, a Fury, you know, the half-brother of Tyson Fury, gets beaten by Jake Paul, that is very embarrassing. Like, that is just career-ending in all honesty. But anyway, apart from that, this fight was basically called off and then it was put back on in the space of 24 hours. And I know what people were like on the internet. Most people would just say, oh, this is, this has got to be a marketing stunt. Like, well, why else would they do this? I'm going to explain why I don't think this is a marketing stunt and why I actually think that this was real. you got to remember, Tommy Fury has said countless times that he's going to knock out Jake Paul, he's going to put him on the canvas, you know, all of that crap. He's been talking smack about Jake Paul for so long. So for him to pretend to pull out to stir up drama is pretty stupid because him pulling out has already damaged his reputation. Well, I say him pulling out, but the chance of him not fighting for the reason that his dad can't be there. That alone has already made people think, who is this guy? And then not to mention, if Tommy Fury did lose to Jake Paul, let's be honest, everyone including me will think, oh, that was the reason why you didn't want to fight Jake Paul. That's why you were messing around with the papers. Because you knew you was going to lose. So him messing around and not agreeing to the fight and signing the papers... It literally doesn't benefit Tommy in the slightest. I genuinely think that it was just a mistake on his behalf and he didn't think that people would react this way. I think he thought people would just let it slide. But of course they're not. You know, this is the internet. Like, people are going to call you names. People are going to judge you straight away. People aren't going to listen to reason. And immediately, including myself, as soon as I saw that Tommy Fury wasn't going to be fighting Jake Paul because his dad wouldn't be in the arena with him, I thought, my God... Who are you? So, unfortunately for Tommy Fury, he's now put all of this pressure on himself to essentially save his reputation. He now has to beat Jake Paul. There's no going back. So, I personally don't think that Tommy and his team would uh, come up with the marketing idea to like pretend that there's some big problem with the fight because let's be honest they don't want to destroy their reputation already like that's the worst thing to do because then they've got all that pressure to then rebuild that reputation they don't want to do that i think jake paul simply had enough of tommy fury's bs he called him out and tommy was like oh shit well he's got me i i gotta do this fight and let's just go on about the drug testing because well i gotta have something right because what else am I going to say? Like, everyone already thinks I'm a pussy. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie, this fight is very exciting. Like, it looks like these two actually have beef because Jake is clearly getting fed up of Tommy Fury. And Tommy Fury is getting fed up because Jake Paul is but single-handedly ruining Tommy Fury's name. So there is actual beef here. And if I'm honest, I'm more excited about this fight than KSI's return. Like... This fight will actually be good. These two can box the pair of them. It's actually like proper bad blood. And, you know, apparently it's going to be KSI versus fucking Alex Wasabi. So, you know, what fight would you rather watch? Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul battling it out or Alex Wasabi versus KSI when we already know KSI is going to win? I don't know. All I'm saying is, in a nutshell, I can't wait for this Tommy Fury and Jake Paul fight. I think it's going to be crazy. You know, it's already starting to build up the tensions between the two teams. It's going to be great. <laughs> basically, in a nutshell, this fight means a lot to the pair of them. Tommy Fury's basically got to prove to everybody that he is not a wet lettuce. And Jake Paul has got to prove that, yes, he can fight a professional boxer. Because once he has fought a professional boxer... 
that then allows him to carry on fighting random people. Like he obviously Jake Paul has this thing where he wants to keep fighting MMA guys and you know just athletes and random people. He doesn't want to do the traditional boxing route. And I think basically, if Jake Paul can beat Tommy Fury, there's not really an argument that people can say anymore because the only way people slander Jake Paul for his boxing ability is the fact he hasn't fought a professional boxer. But once he has fought a professional boxer, people kind of just can't say much and should probably just leave him alone. Like, yeah, that's essentially the way I see all of this fight. <laughs> Alright, so if there are any other big updates with this fight, of course I will make a video about it. So like I said, if you're new to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for any updates that will be coming. I just want to say thank you everybody for watching and if you want to help me out, give this video a thumbs up and of course leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!